Coach, can you sign this get well card? I Not got... right now, Melissa. But it's for Brendan. What's the matter? Is he sick? No, his knee. Remember last week he twisted his knee and you told him to walk it off and then he collapsed in pain? Oh, yeah, that was funny. And now he's laid up. And I thought it would be nice to bring him a get well card. Oh, that is nice. So will you sign it? No, I'm reading. What are you reading? Uh, I'm reading a pamphlet. Well, can't you put it down for two seconds? No, Melissa, it's important. It's an important pamphlet. What is it? I'm getting my doctorate. Really? In the art of bartending, or what they call mixology. It's not as easy as, it, as you think. A lot of training goes into that. How long is the course? That's two nights. Wow. Yeah, but you get a degree. It's not really a degree as much as it is a certificate, but it's authenticated by, I don't know, the government or something. Are you going to quit soccer? Well, I mean, eventually. Does that make you sad? A little bit. Really? Yeah. You like this? Hmm. Could you just sign the card? Um, yeah, fine. Let me see. Dear Brendan, what do you usually write? Get well? Yeah, get well soon. Get Hope you feel better. What's up, idiot? Hmm. Love. Not love. Don't scribble it out. It'll look messy. Well, what do I write in place of that? Just keep love. It's all right. Loan. I'll put loan. Okay. Loan Coach McGurk. Okay, thanks, Ma Coach. Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. I know, but... P.S. Going to bartending school. So, when you get old enough, come by my bar, buddy. Love. Oh, damn it. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Brendan. <clears throat> it's what? Melissa. Oh, hey. hey, guys. And what Jason. You... Hi, Brendan. How are you hey, feeling Hey, thanks today? for coming over. Brendan, I have your homework. Should I put it on the pile? Oh, well, the... Hmm. Mm-hmm. And I brought you a card. You brought me a card, really? Yeah, I got the whole soccer team to sign it. And me. I, I'm not on the team, but I signed it. Let me see this thing. See a couple names. Boop, 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 McGurk. Long-winded thing. Not reading it. Happy birthday from Jeremy. Does he think it's my birthday? Yeah, not everyone remembered that you hurt your knee. Well, I hurt it pretty bad. I nearly cried. Mm, I'd say pretty close to nearly. Shh. Oh, uh, Brendan, I brought you something, too. Uh, what's that? That's a, my dad's beard trimmer. Oh, thanks. But he doesn't use it anymore, and it's in a nice case. I thought it would make a nice gift for you on your sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Um, Should we talk about the movie, mm -hmm. Brendan? Yes. Would it's you just, like you know, Jason my... to get you anything to drink? Yeah. Do you, or do you want me to call someone, like your mom or a doctor? Or oh, the fine. hospital? I'm oh, fine. Brendan, you're shivering. Does anyone check on you during the day? I just really have to go to the bathroom. It's like a halfway house here, don't you? Where's your mom? I cried wolf a few too many times. And she took my bell away. Right. right. I'm just going to crack the window a little, get a little circulation going. Yeah, it's a little stuffy in here. Wee ow. What did you just say? Who, me? Did yeah. you say wee ow? Uh, wee ow. Mm. Wee ow. What, what does that oh, it's mean? It's a Why? saying. It's a my new saying that I invented. Do you like it? Not really. Well, a lot of people do. Oh! Oh! I know, I know, I know. Right here. Right here is perfect. What? We shoot the whole movie right here uh -huh. in the bedroom. That solves all the problems. That's not a great idea, Brendan. How That's are we all... going to shoot a feature film about a talking horse in your bedroom? It's crazy, Brendan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just call me crazy? Uh-huh. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So remember, we use colored water to make drinks because it's a heck of a lot cheaper than using real booze. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's horrible. Where's the real booze? I guess you weren't listening. We don't use real alcohol yet. Huh. Mind if I... No, go ahead. Teach me. Teach. Let me introduce you guys to somebody that, uh, I've known for quite a long time. Folks, say hello to Rob. What's Rob? It's the rules of bartending. And the first rule of bartending is this. G-B-T-B. -B. Go beyond the book. Go beyond the book. We don't need the book. See these books you bought? Get rid of them. Throw them out. You, you made us buy them. You're not gonna need it. Right, we're going beyond the book. $35 for the book. Yeah. What do you mean throw it out? Second rule is AFA. What's that? Hold on, let me get the book. <laughs> AFA. That's not right. Hold on. Um, a well, I have a question, all, sir. All, all. Yes. I, I have a question. question. Uh, how, mm -hmm. how do you make a uh, Manhattan? Manhattan? Yeah. You know, we're going to get to that later on, because this class right here is not about mixing drinks. Any old Joe could put Manhattan together. What you're going to do is you're going to be making something more than drinks. Right, but what are the ingredients that you put into Manhattan? Are you going to learn that later on? Do we eventually get another teacher? Because are you here for the day or are you the whole class? I'm afraid we're stuck with each other, huh? All right, let me backtrack. I paid $145 for yes. this for this two-day seminar. Mm -hmm. Can I get my money back? Oh. No. Is that your wife? 
the hell's going on? Yikes. Good morning, Brendan. Breakfast. Uh, thank you, Mom. How's the knee? Terrific, terrific. Um, listen, I, I I think something weird happened over there at the new neighbors last night. I don't even know what it was, but I, I saw something kind of strange. Brendan, wh what are you talking about? Well, I was looking out the window, and I, you know, I don't know anything about this guy, and something kind of weird was Brendan, going on. don't be what? looking in other people's windows. That's he not polite. You could see me. I had the light off. Especially when they just move into the neighborhood. What are they going to think about us? They're going to think that, you know, we better watch our steps. It's, these people are watching Look, us. You, you shouldn't spy on people, okay? You wouldn't want someone looking over at you, would you? Well, I mean, I like attention. Okay, what? give me the binoculars. No, yes. they're mine. They're not even good. They hardly work. Hey. Okay, Brendan, you know what? You, you need to get out of this room. I'm going to the grocery store later with Josie. You should come. You uh, know? You, uh, it's just your knee. You can get out for just a, 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 an hour or so. No, 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 no. You can no, ride in the little basket. I'm all set. I'll carry you like a little doll. <laughs> That's as tempting as, and embarrassing as that sounds. No, thank you. Okay, well, eat your breakfast and stop looking in other people's windows, okay? Ah. Uh, and do some homework. I'll... I will. I'm about to. I'm totally about to. I'm totally almost going to. Perfect. I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> Excuse me, could you help me, ma'am? Oh. I can't for the life of me locate the Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah, the, ch the shaky cheese. The shaky cheese. Oh, I have kids. We call it the shaky cheese in my house. How oh, wonderful. Um, I think it's in the spice aisle. Spice uh, yeah, aisle, Yeah, that's aisle which number seven. Seven. It's got the cinnamon and sugar and the little teddy bear. Josie loves that. Oh. Yes, well, you seem to be quite a colorful character. Raymond Burley. Oh, uh, Paula Small. Nice to meet you. Wait a minute, forgive me, but I think I moved in behind your house. Oh, yeah, hi, you're, of course, yeah, no, I heard the new, uh, well, welcome to the neighborhood. Paula! Oh, hey, John. Uh, hey, what are you oh, doing here? You need some help? Me? You, you, you want a basket? Nah, baskets are for wusses. Ab machismo, the last gasp of the Neanderthal. Raymond Burley. Um, oh, jeez, watch your feet. Oh, uh, John, this is my new neighbor, uh, Raymond. Clean up on aisle two, huh? Raymond just moved into the, um, neighborhood. Uh, Raymond, this is John McGurk. Uh, nice to meet you, John. Uh, yeah, welcome to the neighborhood. Ready to drink? Um, occasionally. I'm gonna be a bartender, I'm gonna open my own bar. So, uh, you know, buying some stuff. Well, maybe we'll have, like, a mixer in the, in the neighborhood. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I'd bartend your mixer. Oh. So, This is anyway. pleasantly awkward. Whoops. Sorry. Hey, Brendan. <clears throat> Brendan, what? Brendan. What? Brendan, what do you think? Want well, to know what I think? Mm-hmm. I think there's been a murder. A murder? We ow. What are you talking about? Listen, you guys. Last night, I'm pretty sure I saw an argument and there was a tussle. <gasps> a tussle? A tussle. Uh, what is a tussle? Listen to what I'm telling you. I think my new neighbor killed his wife. This is silly. You don't have any proof. Did you say poof? Proof. We ow. Jason, the whole wee yow thing, it's getting a little annoying. Well, I gotta say, the poof thing is a little annoying, too. Wee yow. I said proof. Clean out your ears. Clean out your mouth. Clean up your attitude. Oh, Brendan? Yeah? My dad wants his beer trimmer back. All right, here we go. What do I need a stupid bartending school for? Huh? I can teach myself right here. Let's see who I got. Let's see who drops into McGurk's bar tonight. Judy. Cute. Waiting for her roommate, Alicia. All right, let's do it. Welcome to McGurk's. So what can I, whoops, go, what can I get you? Sex on the beach. I'll have that too, but the real one. You name the beach, and I'll have sex on it. <laughs> yeah, sex on the beach, coming right up. Well, just give me a minute here. Sex on the beach. Sex on ice, sex on the driveway, sex on the beach. Vodka. I was right, vodka. So what do you do for a living? Stripper? Wow, that must be tough work. God, I'm drunk. All right, here you go. Give it a try. That's awful. Oh, my God, I screwed it up. Oh, your roommate's here, Alicia. Nice to meet you, Alicia. What are you drinking? Something easy, I hope. Hey, kamikaze. All right, you can do that. You two talk amongst yourselves, and one kamikaze is coming up. Oh, my God. Let me make you a uh, specialty of the house. How about that? Some of my own ideas. That's, uh, the yeast infection. Rum and milk. Or, uh, make you dirty Frenchman. Wine with olive juice. What are you doing? Who moves furniture at 3 o'clock in the morning? Meow. Did I just say meow? Huh. 
Uh, let's do another drink. Pour some whiskey. And what's left in here? Mustard. Boom. And a little ice. And some milk. And some parsley. There's a pimento on the floor. Boom. Suck it down. Oh, that's good. That's the hot mustard. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so if what I think I saw last night is still what I think, then in that trunk, I think maybe there might be a body. So the person you think he might have murdered is maybe in the trunk you think you saw him moving? Is there anything that you saw that doesn't have think in front of it? I don't think so. Okay. So there may not be a trunk or a murder or a guy. I, hold on, let me clarify. I think there may not be. Does that answer your question? No, I not don't really. remember what my question Look, was. Look, his car is gone. All right? Yeah. He left. All right. There's nobody there. Okay. Now, if I could only sneak over there and see what's inside of that trunk, then we would answer all these questions. About this possible murder. About this definite possible murder. That you maybe saw. That I maybe think I saw. So, do you have to go over now? Well, I mean, I'd love to go, but, you know, my knee. All right. And you have a horse costume on. I'll go. What? Jason, come with me. Oh, no, no. I... Okay, it's settled. You two go. I, I can't. I, I never said I was we'll going. We'll set up but... a signal, and if the guy comes back, I'll pull the shade down like this. Ow, ow, That's ow. reassuring. Yeah. Okay, look around, Melissa. Where's Jason? Don't goof off, guys. Come on. Find the trunk. Find the trunk. Where's Jason? Where's Jason? Right oh, here. boy. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing over here? You're supposed to be with Melissa. Want a rice cake? No, I don't want a rice cake. You're supposed to be in there with Melissa, Jason. What are you oh, doing? Brendan, I went downstairs. I told you I wasn't going. Oh, well, I, I don't blame you. I can't believe she's in there, huh? I know, she's crazy. She's going to get arrested. I know. I told her not to go. Yeah. Wait, well, you no, know, I told her to go. Women. Women, huh? <laughs> oh, no! He's back! Oh, wee ow. Let's give her the signal. Oh, dear. Wee ow. Wee ow. Wee ow. What are you doing, Jason? Doing the signal. Why are you doing it at me? I don't know, because she's all the way down there. We out! We out! We out! Oh boy, what's she doing? Uh, I think she's learning to fly. Uh, why is she flapping? I don't know. <laughs> Hello? Ah! Brendan, what happened to the signal? <clears throat> Brendan, he's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! Uh oh. This isn't going well. He hears her. I can't watch. He's in the room. I don't want to hear. La, 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 la. She get out. Yay. All right. All right. Melissa. Okay. Ouch. Sorry. That's a little tight. All right. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just a little tight. Okay. thought we were. Well, that's fine. Ow. Jason, you're supposed to be pulling the thorns out. Oh, I thought you pushed them through. No. Melissa, you were awesome. Were you scared in there? Or, I mean. No, not a whole lot. Well, you looked pretty scared when you called and you were screaming. Where did I look scared from? From the safety of your home? Yeah, you look terrified. Ouch! But you know, that was the last time I thought I'd ever talk to you. You know, I thought that was it. Oh no. What? My cell phone. Where's my cell phone? Oh no. It's on the windowsill. Hey kids, we have a guest for dinner tonight. Ah! Ah! Sorry about the rude reception. Uh, Quite uh, all right, Paula. Sometimes I... my kids just... Kids, well, kids, kids. Brendan's mine, and then these are his friends. Yes. Well, anyway, so let's say dinner at uh, 6 o'clock? Splendid, 6 it is. I insist on bringing the wine. Fine. I happen to know a killer cabernet. Oh, sounds great. Excellent. Okay. I'll let myself out. All right. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Mom, are you crazy? He's a murderer! What? He's a mur now you invited him in, so he can't be stopped. What, I... You might be thinking of a vampire, Jason. Or a Jehovah's Witness. Or both. Whatever. He's a murderer. He's a murderer. I'm Don't... sorry to interrupt, but oh. how rude of me to presume red. Is red wine okay, Paula? Oh, no, it's, it's perfect. Because I do also know a Chardonnay that is to die for. Oh, no, red's fine. I'm, I'm making lasagna, so well, red's Well, then, fine. splendid fit. Lasagna red. Okay. Au revoir. Oh, he's a murderer, Mom. He killed his wife. Me again. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Killer house, by the way, Paula. Oh, thank you. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely murderous. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Tally-ho. Don't be ridiculous, Brendan. He's not a murderer. He's new in town, been married for seven years. He's a professor, for crying out loud. Where's his wife now? She's yeah. in Greece. Probably up to her neck in it. 
She's Greek. Her family lives in Greece. She's arriving in a couple of days. Mrs. Small, if you were married to someone for seven years, wouldn't you have their picture on your night table? Well, Melissa, you know, just my opinion, but some Greek women, they're not that attractive with the facial hair and all. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have any pictures. Uh, I'm Greek. How do you know? I'm just guessing. Did you sneak into his house? Sneak is such a, a strong word. Strong word. What are you kids out of your minds? Mom, what were you thinking? Mom, cancel the dinner, please. Please, uh, Mrs. Small, you have to cancel. Still a little bit stung about the Greek thing. I am not canceling the dinner. You kids are going to just have to stop spying and calm down and stop being so ridiculous. By the way, um, Coach McGurk's coming too. Coach McGurk? Really? Why? He, um, he wants to be our bartender. Okay, when Burley comes over for dinner, I'm going to go back and get my cell phone. But you guys have to make sure he doesn't leave until I get back, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, but if he wants to leave, there's no way we can stop him. I yeah. just said you have to. Well, I understand, Melissa, but if he wants to leave... We won't, we won't let him leave until, until you come back. Thank you. Unless he wants to go home. Again. Jason, no matter what, you have to make sure he doesn't leave until I get back, okay? All right, whatever. Listen, can we finish this scene? I, breathing's not too easy in this thing. I don't know how horses do it. Action! I just... I can't. I mean... I will someday, but not now. There's an old saying, Jenny, that if you fall off a horse, you should get right back on. And I think it applies to you because you really and truly fell off a horse. I know, but... You're scared. I understand. Quit it. I can't uh, breathe. Talk faster. He said he was jealous. That's why he threw me off yesterday. I can't breathe. Your horse? Your horse? Yes, yes, yes. My horse can talk. He's driving me crazy. Can't breathe. Are you beating that thing? Mm. So your mom tells me your kids think uh, your neighbor killed someone. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. Who needs a refill, anybody? I'm open. I'll have a little more wine. All right. <laughs> Why not? Step up. What do you want, red or white? Oh, the reds. What do you want a mix? Yeah, that's good. Give you a red-white mix. Perfect. There you go. You want ice in that? No, just wine is good. Throw an orange wedge in that. There you go. And there's a stick. Thanks. Well, you learned a lot at school, Coach. Yeah. Anybody else? How's your meal? Of course, my internal clock has been way off, and I've been waking up at ungodly hours. And, of course, I hate my wife. Does it show? Nope. Well, I work a lot, and she doesn't. Mm -hmm. She nitpicks, mm -hmm. pecking away at me mm -hmm. with that shrill voice. Oh, boy. Brendan, why don't you go get a, a, a drink from the bar? <clears throat> um, okay. I guess the only thing I have left, really, is my hobbies. If it weren't for them, I think... I would perish. He killed her, definitely. Well, I'm going over there to get my cell phone back. Make sure he doesn't leave until I get back. You mean coach? No, Burley. Hey, everyone. I have to go to the bathroom. This could be a while. Don't wait for me. That's good. So, kill anyone lately? Pardon me. Nothing. What do you, what do you have? What do you have? I'll have a sex on the beach. Give that a whirl. Oh, no, really? Um, that one. That one's tough. How about a beer? Sex on the beach, bartender. Please. All right, coming up. I believe this is a beer. No, it's a sex on the beach. But it's a beer. It's a sex on the beach. But I'm tasting it. It's a beer. Well, you're wrong. I'm a bartender. I think I know what I'm doing. Sex on the beach. I'll make you another one if you don't like that one. Let me see it. Thank you. There we go. Another sex on the beach. Um, sir, I saw you open a can of beer and pour it into a glass and put ice cubes in it. And then an umbrella. That is not sex on the beach. I implore you, make me a sex on the beach. Um, all right, send it back. I'll make you another one. It's a big waste of uh, sex on the beach. Sir. <laughs> the trunk. Now I guess I will leave. A wonderful dinner, Paula. Nice to meet your dirty children. Did you really like it? No. Oh. Good night. Jason, Melissa's not back yet. We can't let him leave. I know, but if he wants to leave, we can't. We need a plan to keep him here, okay? Let's, uh... I think it's something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's on. kill him. Okay. No. We'll be no better than him. Oh, let's grab onto his legs. That's, that's a little obvious. What are you doing? Nothing. Just relax. Um, if you don't mind, I'm trying to leave. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, Brendan. Hey, Jason. How are you doing over there? Hanging out. Um, Paula. Open. Come on. You damn trunk. 
Um, please, I must go. What? 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 Come on, we're just having fun. Yeah, we're kids. Right. We're you can fun. Pretend There's... to be our dad. Yeah, pretend to be our dad. I don't want to. Come on, pretend to be, yeah, our, yeah, dad. Just be our dad. Be just our dad. Second, be we our dad. We haven't seen yeah, you yeah. in a long time. Hey, there's a... That's coming from my house. Take that, you stupid... Good uh, God. Uh, Melissa, stop it. Melissa... Uh, Melissa, what happened here? I I'm sorry, I thought it was your wife's dead head. Shim sham. Why are you beating it up? Good point. Raymond, I'm so sorry about all the trouble. I mean, it, it, they're kids. They thought you murdered your wife. You people are crazy. I'm calling the police and having you all arrested. Wait, let me get this straight. Hold on, hold on. You're a ventriloquist? My name is Shim Sham. What's yours? Brendan. But wait a minute, your lips are moving. Shim Sham, now's not the time. But I want to do a show! We're not doing a show now, Shim Sham. You're an idiot! Shim Sham, please, don't- You don't! Shim Sham- Shim Sham! Shim Sham, please- Shim Sham, please! Mom, we live next to a ventriloquist, this is amazing! Yeah, can, uh, Brendan, come on, we have to go. Oh, man, I'm gonna be here every day watching him. Hey, kid! Where are you from? I'm from right over there, right next door. Okay, let's go, Woo! That must be great! Okay, right. <laughs> Shim Sham, please. He's just a young boy. Don't I'm, yell at me. I'm not a dummy. What? You're a dummy. I'm not a dummy. You're a dummy. This guy's a real ass. It's not me. It's Shim Sham. Get back in the box. You get in the box. Get in the box. You get in the box. No, you get in the box. No, you get in the box.